Uh, welcome to this tutorial about uh, landforms of coastal erosion and how they are formed, specifically looking at caves, arches, stacks and stumps. Let's begin by looking at how caves are formed. In a cliff face you will see natural lines of weakness. Some of these are horizontal, these are called bedding planes, and sometimes they are vertical, and they are called joints, and sometimes when you have a very long vertical crack these are known as fault lines and these fault lines which are natural lines of weakness in a cliff face can be eroded further by processes of hydraulic action um, during high tide when the, the, the waves have most energy and these cracks can widen and become deeper to create a cave. At the same time on a cliff like this, because it is chalk, you may have processes of um, solution or corrosion operating uh, to weaken the cliff further. So processes of weathering are important here too. Now if the cave becomes deeper uh, into the cliff and the cliff is actually part of a headland, then an arch will be formed. So here is an arch which has been formed at a headland when the cave has eroded through and here is the arch formed. The arch will continue to widen and it will continue to increase in height by the power of the waves coming in at high tide, hydraulic action. But also if you look at the surface you can see lots of fragments, boulders, pebbles, they will be hurled against the base of the arch at high tide, uh, weakening it further. And the arch will gradually get wider and it will get taller, wider and taller. And let's not forget, on the roof of the arch, uh, we have some sub-aerial weathering, which is weakening of the roof by uh, vegetation roots. And this will cause the whole roof of the arch, this area here, to become weaker. And in time, it will collapse, leaving a stack. And so here is a stack. Um, and this one is at Flamborough Head in North Yorkshire. And it was once part of the headland here. And it was joined by a, um, a, a roof of an arch. Uh, but it has since collapsed. So with this gone, we are now left with a stack. And the stack will continue to erode, uh, mostly at the base. And we will get some lovely um, wave cut notches forming there at high tide due to hydraulic action and corrosion. And the base will get thinner and thinner until the top is too heavy and it will topple over to create, at the base, a stump. Um, so here is a stump, not particularly interesting, but uh, the stump once held a nice tall proud stack uh, which has since been eroded and over time, yes, the stump will also be um, eroded by the action of the sea, whether it's hydraulic action or some um, solution if it's, it's limestone or chalk and they'll eventually be um, very little remains of it. So that's the story of how, how a cliff, a cave, an arch, a stack and a stump are formed.